Can you make lightweight concrete? I mean, everybody knows that concrete is heavy as heck. Can you make lightweight concrete? You can, but there's usually a catch. <laughs> the catch is, it's nowhere near to as strong as regular concrete. Here's some lightweight concrete right here. This is a concrete brick that I made out of perlite. Perlite instead of sand means that this is much, much lighter, but it also means that it's not as strong. You could use this for decorative applications perhaps, but you certainly couldn't use it for the foundation of your home or even a sidewalk out front of it. So what's the point of lightweight concrete then? You might use it for insulation value. Lightweight concrete, typically speaking, would have a very high insulation value, 10 times as high as regular concrete. You might also use it for plant pots or decorative applications. You might want a large plant pot that doesn't weigh a ton. Plus, it's porous, so it doesn't drown your plants. When mixed with high temperature cement, you could make things like pizza ovens or rocket stoves with lightweight concrete. Lightweight concrete has some or all of the heavy aggregates, sand and gravel, replaced with lightweight aggregates like perlite or vermiculite or pumice stone or even soap suds can be used as a lightweight concrete aggregate. The more you replace your traditional aggregates, sand and gravel, with lightweight aggregates, the lighter your mix will get, but the weaker it will be also. If you replace all of the heavier aggregates with lightweight aggregates, you can make something that looks the same but it's so weak. So working with lightweight concrete is really about finding a happy medium between lightweight but usefully strong. If it's so lightweight that it just crumbles under its own weight, that's not useful at all. Keeping some sand in the mix might be helpful. So you replace some of the aggregate content with lightweight aggregates, but retain some of the strength of the sand. In experimenting with lightweight concrete mixes, I found a mix of finely ground vermiculite with coarse ground vermiculite to be highly effective. The finely ground vermiculite allows for a very dense mortar product, while the larger product allows for some bulk of yield. A mixture of fine vermiculite and coarse vermiculite will give a good balance between the two and will allow you to make a lightweight concrete that's usefully strong while still being much, much lighter than regular concrete. You can basically consider the strength and the weight of the concrete to be inversely proportional. If you make it lighter, it's weaker. If you make it heavier, it's stronger. Making lightweight concrete is a lot of fun, but more than any other concrete I could name, this is something you have to experiment with, and accept there's gonna be some failures along the way. 